Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'll be talking about now the I guess the 27th of December spreadsheet that Rocket Bullets have uh, has made. Um, obviously he has obviously made some changes, which includes the color added to differentiate, who has been confirmed by by participating in, in off season events rather than just contract extensions, which aren't always shown on Twitter. Uh, Nationality has been added. Tyler loot and Team Secret and now now has correctly displayed who is playing. And the polls have also and polls added as well. So obviously you could just do do the polls of nationalities to keep or remove or the or like the new colors as well. So if you want to obviously, I will. If you want to uh, basically see all the spreadsheets just instantly, obviously go follow Rocket Bullets on Twitter or X, however the fuck you want to call it. So let's so move on now to the Americas first. And that, not, nothing, not, obviously nothing a lot has been changed, um, obviously Central's been confirmed, Evil Geniuses, more names have been popping up, which includes Baby J, Nature, and Derek, all of them are just rumoured though, Apop is also pretty interesting, considering that he's still, I'm pretty sure he's actually on the bench, so he's now, so he's a restricted free agent, so he could maybe come back to Evil Geniuses, if he really wants it for some stupid reason, but, Either way, that is so. I guess the full roster rumors is Jogmo, Shazam, Corey, Common, Baby J, and Common is probably or even also question mark because, like I said in my previous video, he's over in Leviathan. So, not really too sure what's going to be happening there. All we know as well is that I mean, I I I just don't know because it's looking like Jogmo is going to be the only player who was part of the winning roster uh, to actually be part of the team still while Potter I feel bad for Potter as well because I mean now she needs to do it all over again uh, just to rebuild the roster and to make the team actually a really good team um, while for Leviathan Leviathan is also really weird considering of what's happening um, basically internally at, at in Leviathan with Nullsware not really too sure what's going to be happening there Obviously, if you haven't, uh, I guess, caught up to speed right now, I'm pretty sure what happened is that I'm pretty sure, like, on Christmas Eve, there was, like, some, like, internal conflict between the players, and the players basically voted Nullsware out of the team, like, Among Us style, but apparently, like, two of the players didn't actually want him to leave, and the manage and, like, the management of Leviathan didn't know until, like, I'm pretty sure, like, after the meeting and so now they're like talking to Calm about possibly replacing him or even Pankata as well it's just a whole heap of mess so Leviathan even though they're on paper the roster looks really good I think maybe added with Calm it might be exactly the same but I'm not really too sure though uh, as for the everyone else basically no changes as well Busio still has not been confirmed to be joining 100 Thieves but it's basically going to be happening that that he will be joining 100 Thieves as their new IGL. Uh, I, I guess also a couple of mentions as well added to this uh, added to this spreadsheet. Pretty sure Vanity is the IGL for uh, Clown Nine, and that's kind of really all I'm pretty sure added um, that that needs to be added for the America side. EMEA now, and just like America's, no, not, not a lot of changes, I'll be honest, so we can kind of just skip through it, but I'll quickly go, go through them right now, um, but yeah, just, there's no change, it's pretty sure Mr. Fall and as the IGL for Foot Esports, so that maybe, so that probably needs to be added, um, still bolding, still about, uh, about, uh, about grabbing, you know, joining Koi, even though, I mean, uh, <laughs> to be fair, Grubbino, he's not a bad player, it's just that he's replacing uh, Trex, which was really pissing me off, considering that Trex was maybe one of their best players uh, in that team last year in 2020, well, I should say this year in 2023, but still, I'm a bit molded on that. Uh, Karmic obviously announced their roster, Vitality announced their roster, I think Magnum is the IGL as well for Karmic, if you're wondering. Um, now the gentlemen still have not announced anything, which is really surprising me, but they have to announce this soon, if not now. Uh, Team Heretics, I don't think I mentioned it, but Paddy Tech, he's now, he, he, he'll be the sub for Team Heretics. I'm pretty sure it's because Wu T's not set, uh, he's not 18, so they have just, so Paddy Tech, he's going to be playing pretty sure in the kickoff and maybe possibly Miles' Madrid, which, I'll be honest, Heretics are not going to make it to Madrid, but... Just for the kickoff, I'm pretty sure Patek he's gonna be playing in 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 Abu's place because of age. That's why. But 
Um, after Madrid, I think he's going to be of age, so I don't know what's pa- so I don't know what Patatek is going to be doing after that. And uh, BBL, pretty sure there's rumors that Aslan and Amdil, pretty sure both of them will be going to S S two. I can't apparently I can't do it. S two G Esports, which is obviously the top Turkish team other than Visual Athletics, obviously. But they are, but but S two G, they are building a phenomenal roster, which could actually compete with Five Plus, obviously, when the season starts over in Turkey. Not really too sure also about, about what last rest is going to be going with. I think he might be still with the sub for the team, but we just have to wait and see on that. Uh, Pacific now, and it was just like I said, no changes. I'll be honest. Absolutely nothing. I did. I'm pretty sure I did talk about King officially leaving T1, and he has. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. I'll be honest. A division, nothing. DRX, nothing. Talon, nothing. And they ha- and he has fixed uh, Lenny and Patty Pan, which is good. And Ban as well, which is great. Uh, that just that's nature focus me. Nothing. Team Secret. I'm tr- I'm pretty surprised that they that they has still ha- they they still have not actually played in a professional or well, I should say off season tournament. But they're gonna be playing in the APAC Predator League. Um, which is basically over in the Philippines. So that'll be interesting to see how they go against some other tier two or even and even like some like tier three organizations as well. Global nothing, not really too sure if Skillsy is actually gonna be the reserve or part of the uh, or part of the roster, I guess, as a six man. No idea what's gonna be happening with Skillsy. Uh Gen G nothing, Paper X nothing, Bleed nothing, T1 nothing, and RIQ they still have not announced Flip Jizer. Zephyro, Elmy Moore, and Tuji as well to be officially be rejoining the team. But I'm guessing they, I'm, I'm guessing those four players might rejoin, including Ewok as well as the coach for the team. And finally, we have China. Now, China has been pretty quiet considering that Ascension is still going on, which makes sense. So I think after, so I think after Ascension, there's going to be a lot of roster changes. Yeah, um. <laughs> from all these teams but ever gaming nothing fpx nothing i just wanted to also mention as well that berlin is the igl for the team so it was literally that's just a little just a little heads up for billy billy i'm pretty sure it's nine to z no no it's not no it's bianc bianc is the igl so bianc is the igl just for billy billy i'm if i'm uh, correct me if i'm wrong and i'm okay that's interesting XP, xpz is the coach which is really strange but Whatever. Uh, all gamers, not really, really too sure so about them. Is looking certain that X3B, Nash Z, and Player are going to be joining the team. Or, uh, I'm pretty sure they're rejoining the team, I should say. But Bay and Amika, they're looking pretty unlikely to be uh, to be staying. No esports, absolutely no clue what's going to be happening to that team. Trace esports, um, is looking pretty certain that 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 this is going to be their roster, even though I think they might be making some roster changes, but I have no idea. Titan Esports Club, apparently this is what they're going to be running with, with Abo, Shameless, Black, Kawaii, and Kyuyi, and then Aid and x Tayan as the, as the reserve, and then Three Water as the head coach. I don't really know how to say about this. I'm pretty sure this was their roster during uh, Act 3, so I'm just... Uh, they're going to be like a mid-pack team, I'll be honest. JD Gaming is actually the first team to um to have to possibly have some rumors. As rumor has it that Mr. Kani is going to be joining the team. He's a Taiwanese player who pretty sure play for Top Esports and also play for Anti Eco Eco Club. But he's rumored to be uh to be joining JD Gaming. Can't me- I can't actually remember what he role plays. Might be Sentinel, but I might be wrong. I don't know. Maybe is it? it may might be an issue. I don't know. But um. All, all, all I'll say about JD Gaming is that if they keep Vichy, they'll be fine. Because Vichy, he is a phenomenal, phenomenal player. I mean, he legit played with something over in Japan as well. So he's a really, really good player. Um, and Billy Yozwa as a coach has also pretty good as well. Tyloo, this is just, like I said, just a middle of a pack team as of right now. But I won't be surprised if they do make any changes with Nine Body slowly, Ak, Luo King, and Ice King. A lot of kings, apparently. And then Yi as the coach. And then, sorry, my bad. I'm pretty sure he is the reserve. So, not too bad of a roster, but I still think that, that, that they need to make some changes. And Wolf Esports, no idea what the fuck's going to be happening with this roster. Um, I highly doubt that any of these players are going to be staying, I'll be honest. Um, I think all of them are going to be leaving and they're going to be building a new revamped roster. I mean, they could even take on him like 
Nightwing's gaming roster and they would be better than, than this roster, I'll be honest. So that is really about it. So not a lot of changes, I'll be honest, into uh, this spreadsheet, obviously, as we get further into um, uh, to the offseason and close as well to the start of the season 2024. Uh, so yeah, no love changes, I'll be honest, just basically exactly the same, considering that most of the rosters have been announced, um, by, by Gentleman's so who have not announced anything, Evil Geniuses have definitely not announced everything, so, not really too sure, and I'm pretty sure, I just realized that Ladder Preacher does not have a, does not have a head coach, I'm pretty sure they do, but I cannot not remember his name, which is really pissing me off, but, either way, that's really about it for me, hope you guys enjoyed the catch you guys the next time, in the next one, goodbye. I'm not